Darling Way presents Here's your Masters of Love, Fred the Falcon and AJ with Beth Liebling. And we're back, and there's a whole group of people oh, in there. It's so much fun. There's a live audience here. I've told these people, no cameras. Is that a, is that a, uh, a difficult rule? Everybody wants to see this. They're not Everybody seeing, wants they're not to see it. It's radio. It's theater of the mind. This is I'm, You know me, Jung. I'm old school. No Facebook Live. Um, no videos. I was hoping that you wouldn't mind. Like because no, you're, you're, I do mind. You've got your shorts on. Okay, Very I apologize. No, I don't want to mm. do that. I, then you have the right to say no. Absolutely, right. I apologize. You are, you're, you're like a, you guys are we're voyeurs. Sexually pressuring me. I don't I like know. it. No, then say no. Yeah. Absolutely, I'm I'm up for that, and I'm sorry for putting pressure on and Thank taking you. advantage. But Thank I am you. a total voyeur. No, I didn't think this I would, would love to happen. No, I I can't believe that y'all would well, say something explain, like this. Well, the way I was hoping this would what's go. What's going on? For one thing. The way I was hoping this would go is we would just do the segment as normal. We would just pretend like I'm not wearing something down there. Why? And Jong would control it, and we would just see how uh, how with it I could Be? hold up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and are you just perfectly normal right now? No, th- there hasn't been any buzzing yet. Really? Yeah. I could start. No, yes. Not yet, not yet. You, need to, you need to set this up. You need to tell the people oh, what we're doing. Give me a little buzz so I know what I'm working See, with. See, this is the problem. I'm not very good at that teasing stuff. I got nothing. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, so what's going on? Is the you last... Too far away? Uh, now it's not working? No. Let me make sure my light's still on. <laughs> oh, boy. This is way more than... <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I don't know what's yeah. going on then. Yeah. Is it right. too far? Might be too far away. It shouldn't be, unless that glass or something is a problem. Well, let, me, must... let me walk over there to you. All right. Well, while yes. he's doing that, you okay. tell people what you guys are doing here. So what we're doing. That I'm having nothing to do with. <laughs> is there is a. Oh, my gosh. Ah. Oh, my God. That was hysterical. <laughs> AJ just literally like flipped over. Oh, my gosh. Happy, happy, Dad. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So AJ. I'm not pushing anything. Dude, I can't do this the whole time. You got to. <laughs> yes. It's awesome. Okay. Sorry. So it's a vibrating it's ring. Going. And there's two of them. John can't turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. I'm oh, trying to lower it. This so needs to be recorded. Uh, <laughs> I um okay. I guess I there, there's it. there's a range. I guess the, this glass might be a problem. Oh okay. Well, you can yeah send somebody in with it, but that's just my thought. Yeah. You, but, no, let John come in here. <laughs> Tyler will run the board. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, so it's first. I have to thank my friends at New Sensual because they on a Friday for the holiday weekend. They went to UPS to go make sure that they shipped this out because this is a brand new version of this ring. You don't uh, have this, this ring. in your uh, shop? We had the old version, and I wanted to give you the new and deluxe and improved version. Gotcha. And so they went out of their way to ship it. So it was brand new. It was in the box, and your expression is just, just to die for. Is it okay if she takes pictures of me and Fred, no. not you? No. No Okay, no pictures. No pictures. Can she take pictures of John? As long as I'm not in the picture. With the remote. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I am, there I'm not going to react to anything. So. John, but, you can't keep it going for oh, that long Oh, you're not going to react, Fred. You're wearing your, your poker glasses. Your cheeks are bright red, and you're laughing like crazy. And all, and the guys in the booth are still laughing. So anyway, so it's a like remote may, control. May sticky. I don't know what's going on, because like, so John will start it up, and then he, he, he just forgets about it. Yeah. No, I know. it's not good. So can't you imagine going out to dinner with like your wife, and no. you're wearing that, and she's got control, and you know, you're trying to order, and she's just making you jump around? No, I can't imagine that. That is the worst Wouldn't idea I, I've ever heard. Oh, I think it'd be awesome. Wouldn't you be really no. ready to go home and... like? Yeah. No, make make some fun. How about you wait until you get home and try this stuff? Why are you doing this in oh, a restaurant? Because anticipation. Okay, I don't like, <sighs> I just jump into things, but this tea and everything. I can't imagine having this on the whole time I'm trying to eat a meal. Oh, wow. I don't need that. Well, it would be fun. Okay, can you imagine but having also, it on? I also when you're... enjoy food more than sex, like if I had to oh. make them. Really? Yeah. Okay, I can't imagine that. Yeah. Well, you're right. just not eating the right food. Well, or you're not having the right sex. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A little sure. both, maybe. <laughs> um, okay, but sorry. Now I'm totally distracted thinking what food could possibly come close. But uh, you you, anyway. uh, you didn't have we, the meal I had last night. Well, you didn't I was have so jealous, actually. Lumanati I wanted to be there with y'all. I like a good piece of meat. I was really sad that uh, I didn't get to take Fred's place. You should have. And all the desserts. Oh. I was drooling. So you're I saying you, you, wanted my, you wanted my meat is what you were saying. That's it. Mm. I do. I want your meat. I want AJ's meat. Mm. I want Jong's meat. Yeah. You okay. know. Just yeah. checking. Yeah, a good hot dog, a little bit of spicy mustard. No ketchup, though. Yeah. All right, John. Um, <laughs> okay, so this this has a remote control that John is holding, and it's so pretty, right? It's purple, 
it's just that's awesome. What really, that's what's I really love important. the new sensual. I know. We'll see. For me, it is. But right. if you were standing naked in front of us, it really would be because this cute little purple around. Uh, Did you turn it off? No. Oh, okay. And so, and there's two rings, and so one ring is going around basically all of the junk, and then a smaller ring is just going around just the your little branch. Mm-hmm. And um, so, and then the remote has. <laughs> Four different. <laughs> it's, it's, fine. it's working now. Like it's doing its job now. By the way. Oh, that's awesome! Because uh, what it does is it allows blood to flow in to the branch mm-hmm. and doesn't allow it to flow out. So it keeps everything um, standing more at attention, if you will. It's a great tool. And what I really like about this one is that it's got these cute little nubs on the exterior, so that when you're involved with a female partner, that and you're um, you know doing some lovely in and out motion Mm -hmm. that there are certain parts of it that are going to rub against her little love love nub all right and um for her pleasure so it's just yeah it's a whole new experience right i said nothing should be boring it's a whole new experience (laughs) and john i've never Uh, seen john laugh like this i've worked with uh john and fred for going on what seven years now yeah zero erections (laughs) and uh (laughs) and here i am wait can i take credit you're giving the credit to Fred and John. I'm, John's I got the control. John's, John's the one Dang. with all the power. He's running here. the show here. Yeah. Uh, you're, okay, now I'm really so, I'm, now I'm jealous of so John. Does, I'm really does, sorry. Well, but I mean, does yeah. this thing actually? I mean, it's like actually working for you. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Oh yeah. I don't know how it's. I don't know the science behind it. Like, and I I don't feel anything on my balls. Like I, that was supposed to be like a big part because like they, I've got the ring going around the balls. Yeah, I wasn't even sure if I could say that word. So it's almost yeah. too. Too tight? It, 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 no, it's. A, it, I don't need that. Like it's a. Okay. It's not so, doing anything for right. me. I'm asking for a friend, but for like self pleasuring, would this thing work? Like if no, you just I can't it imagine. Yourself? Okay. Like it's it's not like it's a. No, with the hand getting, also. It's getting you ready. Yeah. But I mean, you would have to. There, it's not like this could just make me go by my by itself. Okay. Like this isn't something that's, that's gonna, just. It's just a startup. It's not a finisher. Okay. But right. it would be good if you were doing it with your hand also, right? Because yeah. it's an extra. Yeah. Yes. Don't 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 misunderstand. And I do have some things that might help get you all the way over the edge if we want to talk about that sometime. Not too. really. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking for a friend of mine. That's I, all. You know, I'm I'm just offering. Um, John, you got it. I mean, take a break. Yeah. <laughs> it's still going. I mean, John's just sitting there so calmly. It's just awesome. So, uh, but this is a big thing for people who like to play with power control exchange, power exchange and control. You, like I said, if your partner had the remote and you were out and you said something good, she might turn it off. Or maybe if you liked it, she'd turn it on. Or if you weren't, you know, behaving well, she'd do the opposite in something. So you could go to family dinners, um, no. you know, company parties. No. Can you imagine if you'd worn this at dinner last night with all the guys? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> No. Now, will this work for people like Fred, who has really old balls that hang way down? Will he be, I mean, or does he have to have a different contraption? No, because it just goes around. You're letting everything hang through. It just stretches. You push everything through. And it's, yeah, and it's good. So, no. Old, young, in between, everything. It's really kind of fun. So, they do also make devices uh, that would be an insertable bullet for a woman. So, you could swap it, and she could wear it inside her. While you go out or go to a movie or anything like that, and with a remote control that her partner can use, okay. So it's equal opportunity. You know, that I like seem that. Sanitary That's... though. Whoa! Oh <laughs> God, you're so cute. Look at I'm just his face. Every time John adjusts it, his face just grins. These cheeks are red. His smile. I'm just I'm just so loving this. I have to tell you. Uh, I'm sorry. So why wouldn't it be sanitary? You can clean things afterwards. I know, but how long would it, can it stay in there before it's uh, not? You know, I don't know. Oh, it can stay in for several hours. Oh, okay. Yeah, long enough to go out and everything. And in fact, what it does for women is because there's something in there, it actually helps generate the juice flow. So then afterwards, but you do want to take it out, this particular one you'd want to take out before you had yeah. anything else going in there. But there are the um, the WeVibe sink that we gave away on Saturday night actually was 
a remote control was an app controlled one. So you could control it on the phone from across the world and it could be left in there during penetration. I so want to take a picture of your face, AJ, because I want to just see it like all the time because I have never, I haven't had this much fun in I'm way too long. I'm glad you guys long. are enjoying this. <laughs> yeah. I, it was so good for you to volunteer. I am not enjoying this. I will just say this. It's very strange to me. It's very strange, but you are smiling. Your cheeks are just, uh, just red and cute. No, I'm Fred has, out of Fred has discovered that he is a prude. Yeah. Yeah. You're not really a prude, but I really can help you with that too. I, I, I and no, I'm okay. You like I'm you okay. like fantasizing about you know alien sex, so right, I don't yeah, think that's out. really a prude. <laughs> oh. That's not no. I just is there any pleasure there, AJ? Uh, I mean, it just feels like I have a boner. Oh, I mean, uh, the buzzing on my balls is almost too intense to where it's. Uh, Ooh. I mean, I, I don't need that. Oh, okay. That's so, uh, do you think maybe this segment would be good for your survivor application? Because if you could, not. No. I'm thinking if you Survivor's could do a this, family show, Beth. No, no, no. But the fact that show. you could do this, yeah, I'm thinking it says a lot about you. And the guys in there are just having a great time, actually. Well, those guys are all gay, <laughs> and, and they're all touching. Every one of them. All four of them are touching themselves, and they'll be touching each other. Standing up. What's funny is there's, I, there's I, no. Mm-hmm. Every, Tyler's like, I'm standing up. They just said all four of them. I only see three heads, so Lord knows what's yeah. going on underneath there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Tyler's making Tyler's one. making the same expressions you are, so. No, oh, he is not. Yeah, he is. No, you can't mimic. You cannot we were mimic trying this. trying to get Jong to do it whenever he takes a drink, though. Wait, whenever he takes a drink? Yeah, if he takes a drink of his beer. No. Oh, no, he's doing this all all the time anyway. This yep. is like better than that. Otherwise, he AJ just wouldn't be drinking. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is good. I think I just saw your eyes cross a little bit there for a second. <laughs> Could have happened. Could, Could have very happened. well be the case. So again, I just really want to thank my friends at, at New Sensual for for making this experience happen. I think it's really it's mm-hmm. going to be memorable, right? Very memorable. Yes, very I'm so memorable. Glad to be here. So this is part of the reason why I do what I now, do. Now this is game right? used. Will you be able to resell this? No, I'm giving that home. I'm giving that to you. Oh, this you want is me to free. take this home? Yes, I'm thinking your wife is going to really love it. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, when you're watching TV or whatever, just hanging out, or and I'm telling you, she's gonna like it when you're in her because it's okay. gonna feel good. Okay. Yeah. So no, I expect some some reports back on it. Okay, I'll let you know. Yeah. Don't don't throw it away though. It's too valuable. Okay. Yeah. yeah it's, well, I would never do that. Yeah. No. 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 I think it's. I'm gonna actually. Cool, so. I'm gonna actually uh, give this to someone as a Christmas gift at the end of the day. <laughs> a, a white elephant or a white. Yeah, um, white elephant. Bye. Yeah, it's going to be a hey, surprise. Here, this is for your trunk. That's right. <laughs> I think that would be perfect. And I'm not going to tell them that I've used it. <laughs> I'm going to give you some cleaner. I so, will have yeah. used it multiple times by then, too. Yeah. Well, So, so I, whoever company, wants to go to a Christmas party, you, yeah, good news. I make them put it on there. But this company, it, there's a one-year warranty. Okay. So this is kind of my thing. I think that there is such value. And this is part of why I call things romantic props instead of just toys. These are things that really do have value. They change up the dynamics. And you can love it you can just like it but the fact is is that you're laughing and if you and your partner are doing something like this and you're laughing about it and it's just silly and fun it's a good thing and it's it just changes the dynamics a little bit and nobody should ever be seeing the same romantic show every night but so many people do (laughs) right subtle for one night a week you kidding me (laughs) (laughs) yeah i'm looking at you brad going yep yeah we need to figure out how to change up your little Uh, uh, i have no comment Uh uh-huh yeah, we're going to have to send you home with something just to... No, nope. uh... nope. I, I, I have alcohol. I'm fine. Yeah, I have alcohol and I have a right hand. I don't really need anything else. Aww. And an imagination. <laughs> and hot alien women. So, I don't want tentacles and stuff, man. I just want hot alien chicks. Yeah, fantasy. I'm telling you, that'll so, be our date night. We'll talk about no, that at, at our date no, night. We how won't. couples can use fantasies to, uh, to liven up their romantic life. No, no, we won't. They can. I'm sure uh, they can. This show has been livened up. This <laughs> I'm sitting here. I can't believe I'm sitting here on the air watching AJ touch himself. I'm down to a. It uh, is as a voyeur. This is like one of the highlights. I'm of down to my a semi erection now. So Aww. things are lightening up. It's uh, the segment's coming to an end. You know, Aww. I don't. I can. Uh, yeah. Gosh, I'm so sad. But hey, this is really. I've had a great time. I'm glad you've I, had fun with this. Yes, I hope you have too. Oh, it was so much fun. <laughs> Jong, did you enjoy it? Did you receive any pleasure from this whatsoever? No. Do you have a, an erection? No. no erection for you. Anybody in there? Check Raj. Negative. He was trying to yeah, take well, pictures of me earlier. Raj, right? Raj, you can't tell anyway. That guy's so skinny, he could have an erection and be walking <laughs> around and you wouldn't see it. Raj doesn't even have blood to, no. like, to, to flow. No, he, he looks homeless. Yeah. Oh, my so. gosh. 
All right. Well, anybody else who wants one or wants to talk about what a great experience, they should come see me too at 3423 White Oak Drive at Darling Way in the Heights. And uh, and like I said, I'm glad for people just to laugh and be silly about this stuff. Murky says, We Vibe makes a solid product, let me tell you. Yeah. So. Tons. There's so much fun to be had. Don't settle for boring. That's my public service announcement. What, what you got coming up on the show this week? Oh, on Love and Laughter with Beth on Saturday night. Oh, my gosh. We're talking to Holly, who's this total hottie. I'm so jealous. I said I'm going to have to take some um, some ego you know, injection because she's stunningly gorgeous. She's a sportscaster. We're going to talk about all sorts of sports stuff. It's not Holly stuff. Rowe, is it? No, no, it's uh, no. the Holly that... Holly that writes for Houston oh, okay. Sports and stuff. Yes. And so she's smart. She's hot as can be. She's funny. And um, and we're going to talk about dating, and which really is the hottest sport ever. And how hard it is for a young, really attractive, intelligent woman to actually be taken seriously, especially in a man's world. I said, when she's trying to talk about sports, if you're ugly, people don't want to talk to you. And if you're attractive, they think you have nothing to say. So how do you win? Well, that's just, I that's have that problem way, all the, the time. The, the yeah. way the cookie yeah. crumbles. Mm. Well, but what if she's to do about it? Seriously, if this was your daughter, your sister, what would you, you tell her? I would tell him, listen, if you've got a, if you've got a job, and it solely relies on how good looking you are, good for you. Keep that job. No, but it's hard to get a job because even if you're good looking, because they still Trust think me. you're not that pretty. You it know, they think hard. you're not that smart. They, it, oh, look, it's not that hard for men. That's all they do is hire good looking chicks. You don't have to have a brain in your head. Well, but but the fact is, is you think there a man can get away looking, with that? No, no. But that's but there are really attractive women oh. with lots of brains, and so those are the ones that we should be hiring. <sighs> that's the problem. That's overrated. You those should, you don't with those free thinking women. That's the problem. Yeah, hey. God, I love them. <laughs> Let, let's before you go, let's throw Shrek on. Oh, hi, Shrek. I can't talk to Shrek. Hey. Well, I've got a boner. Uh, yeah, you have to. I'm okay, getting all I, hot I, here. I, Sorry, I, Shrek. I got a question. So I'm gonna ask out this chick at work that I've been trying to ask out for a long time. Yay. Um Now, now that I know her, like now that I know exactly where she works and her schedule, um, you're not stalking was, her, are you, Shrek? No, no, okay. no. Just, no, just checking. No. I just want to make sure that sounded a little weird. No, now that you know where no. she works and what her hours are. No, no, no. We, we okay. We, I'm the security guard. We work in the same building, but she have like uh, I haven't seen her in a long time because uh, one of her uh, one of my friends told me her she. Uh, she changed her shift. Okay. So, yeah. Um, and actually, my homegirl was going to hook me up with her, but then my friend was like, man, don't don't let your homegirl hook you up with her. Like, you, now that you know, you should go talk to her yourself. Yes. Um, and uh, so my thing is, like, if I bring flowers and candy, is that a bat? Like, should I do that, or should I just ask her out? Uh, you mean to work? He hung up. Okay. Well, so here's the deal. If you bring, before you've even asked a woman out once, if you send her flowers or something or bring her flowers, make it just something, you know, small and tasteful, not totally overwhelming. And don't do flowers and candy because that's just a little bit too much. Too and much. implies like an obligation as opposed mm-hmm. to just mm-hmm. a, a gift. Implies well, stalker, which kind of, you know, if you know her schedule and stuff, could very well be. Oh, don't, and don't stalk her. And don't let her know that you're tracking her schedule and that you're find, you're asking people about when she's working and whatever. Be a, you know, real real men, real women step up. They ask directly. Be a grown up. Don't play don't don't play like you're in junior high. That's my suggestion. Ask her out and take it like a real person, whether she says yes or no. And good luck. Yeah. I'll be excited if he has a date, right? You told me he he hasn't had a date in. Yeah, he's, oh. he's not. Uh, he's not lucky with the ladies. Yes. No, no but I'll be so excited because he has. He's a wrestling fan and he has like, wrestling figures and stuff. Uh, well, I kind of sets him back a little bit. He hasn't come into the shop yet, and I keep waiting. I'm really excited. I've met but, so many blitzers, and they really are just awesome. And they say the nicest things about you too, too. So, well, they don't know us. No, they don't know you. I know, and then no. I add to it and say, I do know you, and you really are awesome. It's not that and, we're overrated. Yeah. No, y'all but are underrated. I've worked, actually, I've worked really hard to be overrated. Yeah, because that's hey, if you're rated at all, that's a good thing. So being overrated, that's a positive. Yeah, but see, I think so highly of y'all. I don't think you're even overrated. I actually think you guys are two of the nicest, funniest people I've ever met, and that's mm. pretty awesome. And people don't know that they think you're like grumpy old men. Nah, not everybody. We'll keep it that way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. trying to spread the Who word. Cares? Otherwise, Who cares what those kids think? Jeez, <laughs> little bastards. <Yeah. laughs> Wait, you can say that? Gosh, yeah. I never know what. Actually, you can. 
Oh, I have to put that on my list. My, you know, no, no naughty words and my yes, yes, please words. Well, don't don't overdo it. You have to. You know, it has to be in context. Okay. Like playing a grumpy old man. Yeah. Yeah, jack wagons. Yeah, that kind of stuff. You, you gotta. It's gotta be in character. Mm. Yeah, my character is simply to blunt thing. You know, blurt things out in, inappropriately, regularly. Yeah, and bring weird sex toys and women with whips to the show. Yes. Yeah. Oh, aren't y'all glad that you met me? So glad. <laughs> uh, AJ's really glad right now. <laughs> I'm actually kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm good to stand up now, I think. Aww. It uh, was so much fun sitting here next to you, I'm though. Glad. I'm I'm really honored. I feel like we've just reached a whole new level of our intimate relationship okay. here, which, you know, is good with the clothes on because right. I don't want to upset your wife or anything right. like that. But I feel I've just, I'm, I feel very Jong is the one who close. violated me. Oh, no, I think he totally turned you on. He did. Yeah, yeah that's pretty. That's but just But that was awesome. even before the segment started. Ah! He's just, he's adorable. Yes. I, I just want to do a segment, though, on what I need to put in the application online for a side piece. Like, I'm going to have an application. Yeah. I want you to give me some advice on what to put in there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm, is. As long as as your wife gives me permission to help you, if you're in an open relationship, no, 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 I'm all not, no, over no, it. No, no, it's not that at all. It's got to be, you know, it's got to be secretive. That's why. No. It's, uh, you're, oh, you're my, no fun. my morals, my ethics. I just, I'm perfectly okay See, with Jong sitting I, here I, and you know, yeah, but manipulating. This, this is how I make her uncomfortable. I know, I know, I hate that. I really don't like cheating. I just think people deserve more. I think cheating costs. It 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 takes a little piece of people's souls. So right, well, I'm only half kidding here. So I, yeah, I know. at least forty percent. I know. Maybe I know. sixty. I don't know. You've got such a good wife. I know you're. I, 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 but you know, I'm trying to make you uncomfortable because this every every show by the end of this, I just want to go and shoot myself. <laughs> Wait a minute. Either I that feel or, so either bad. Either that or take a shower. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm sorry. All right, we got to take a break. No, I'm going to go home and feel bad and cry, and I'm going to be all night uh, going, no, Fred no, doesn't not. like me. Oh, I don't like that. Fred no. does say often that he doesn't like you. I hate that. I know. That really hurts my feelings. No, I never say anything about you personally. I'm just, I'm, I mean, your subject matter is a bit much for me. That's all. I'm so sorry. No, why are you sorry? That's your life. That's what you do. I know, but normally, I don't know. I don't want to upset. I'm not upset. I, I, want... I just, I cringe. <laughs> and... Is there a little bit of enjoyment at it? Like, do you enjoy the cringing? Because that would be okay. No. Oh. I don't. I don't like cringing. Yeah. All right. Let, let's just go to break. Inflicting pain without pleasure is not my thing. <laughs> that's your. That's your friend, Mistress of the Dark, whatever her name was. That's her thing. Mistress Ella. Yes, yeah, it is. Geez. Oh no, but there's pleasure. No, that's not true. She likes it when there's pleasure. Well, I'm sure she does. What about the poor guy who? Never mind. He's the one getting pleasure. I, I don't know how. I don't know how you can sit there and get whipped up on and think that's pleasurable. Oh, Fred, you haven't tried it. I, I know, and I'm not going no. to. There's but see, I don't see how fantasizing you about know alien with or sex alien, whatever. Well, you have to good. understand the context. It's it's like really actresses playing aliens in the movie that look really hot. That's oh, you actually. I thought you really like wanted aliens. Well, not like, just if women they're hot. Sex. If they're hot and they look like humanoid form. Oh, then yes. Oh, okay. But they have to look like the, you know, like a like chick from Guardians of the Galaxy. You know, I'd, that, I'd be all for that. Green, awesome. Yeah. Cool. But it's a hot chick playing a green chick. Oh. Okay, so. This so is it like would be next the, level stuff, see? Right. It would be the equivalent of me thinking about some really hot guy it, that's purple. Well, and you have a purple thing, so yeah. I do. I just don't know that that's somebody I'd want to have sex with. Well, it's kind of interesting. Just saying, yeah. Hmm. If green chick flies into Fred your Fred wants to have sex with anybody. He doesn't care. And that's that's not that's not true either. I have a very limited range of what I like. Yeah, <laughs> alien vaginas. Well, <laughs> alien redhead, uh, hentai, bald. That's pretty much it. Asian. Really bald? Yes, like bald Natalie Portman, hottest thing ever. Oh, go she, watch V for go watch V for Vendetta. If that doesn't get you going, nothing will. No, Dude, we're way over for a break here. We beautiful. gotta, we gotta okay. go. All right, we, we don't need to be talking about my alien fetishes. Jeez, I just like to see a smile. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have another beer. It's the Blitz <laughs> on ESPN 97.5. So To call into the HRP listener line, dial 713 780 ESPN. Dial the phone. Look at-
Looking to outsource your company's HR and payroll? Get the top initiative and smart solutions with HRP.net. What does dad really want for Father's Day? Visit us at Zadok Jewelers to find the perfect timepiece from over 25 of the world.